friends we are discussing special types of inflorescence right special types of inflorescence is of uh, three types what is the last one cyathium hypanthorium yesterday we completed uh, what is the last one right now go for the second one what's a cyathium over cyathium so cyathium is a single flower like special type of inflorescence cyathium is a single flower like special type of inflorescence single flower like single flower like special type of a inflorescence sir who is a single flower like special type of inflorescence cyathium okay now see this diagram sir in this diagram this yellow part this yellow part what i drawn here this is a cup like structure what like structure cup like structure sir who formed this cup like structure sir in that you cut up bracts who formed this cup like structure in that you cut up bracts therefore in that you cut up bracts what sir in that you cut up bracts in that you cut up bracts they forms this cup like structure sir this is the cup who formed this cup sir in that you cut up bracts okay right sir on this uh, in that you cut up bracts uh, you are going to see external nectar glands what we are going to see external nectar glands external nectar glands sir nectar glands okay why we are calling them as external nectar glands sir nectar glands means generally present in a flower generally present in a flower what nectar glands but see here this nectar glands are they present in the flower no they are not in the flower so we are calling this nectar glands as external nectar glands okay external nectar glands are also called as extra floral nectaries extra floral nectaries nothing but external nectar glands okay right therefore in that you cut up bracts what in that you cut up bracts in that you cut up bracts forms <coughs> what they forms cup like structure forms a cup like a structure who formed this cup like structure in that you cut up bracts what they formed cup like structure with with the uh, which glands external nectar glands with external nectar glands with external nectar glands is this statement okay not listen here sir this is the cup like structure right in the center of the cup i'm speaking about center in the center of the cup a single female flower is present should be very careful right where in the center of the cup what is present female flower is present how many female flowers are present single only one female flower is present therefore this is a which flower sir female flower this is a female flower what is another name for female flower female flower is also called as a pistillate flower what is another name for female flower pistillate flower right therefore in the center of the cup right in the center in the center of the cup in the center of the cup a single single female flower is present single female flower single female flower is a present single female flower is present okay right where in the center of the cup single female flower is present now you see this diagram sir this is a cyathium inflorescence right in this cyathium inflorescence how many female flowers are present only one female flower is present therefore one cyathium inflorescence one cyathium one cyathium inflorescence 
contains how many female flowers? Contains one female flower. I am writing the symbol. Okay, one female flower. Sir, what is another name for female flower, sir? Female flower is also called as a pistillate flower. What is another name for female flower? Pistillate flower. Pistillate flower. Therefore, one cyathium inflorescence contains <coughs> one female flower or one pistillate flower. Is it okay? Now listen the statement. Sir, we are calling this flower as what, sir? Female flower. What is this flower called as? Female flower. Sir, female flower means it is with androecium or gynecium, sir. Gynecium. Yes or no? Right? If you see the gynecium of which flower? Female flower. This gynecium of female flower contains three carpels. Contains how many carpels? Three carpels. Sir, where from this carpel came from? Female flower means should contain gynecium. What is the unit of gynecium? Carpel. What is the unit of gynecium? Carpel. Therefore, gynecium of female flower contains contains how many carpels? Contains three carpels. Contains three carpels. Is it okay? As three carpels are present, we are calling this gynecium as tricarpellary gynecium. What is this gynecium called as a tricarpellary gynecium? Is it okay? Now you tell me, sir, how many carpels are there, sir? Three carpels. How many carpels are present? Three carpels are present. Three carpels are present. Is all right? See here, sir, this is a one carpel, right? This is a another carpel, and this is one more carpel. See the diagram. How many carpels are there? Three carpels. Try carpel. Sir, these three carpels sir, are they pre or fused? See this diagram once. See the diagram once. Sir, three carpels are there. One, two, three. These three carpels are fused. If carpels are fused, we are calling that condition as a syncarpus condition. What is that condition? Called as syncarpus condition. So, what is the meaning of syncarpus condition? Carpels are fused. Carpels are fused. Right? Therefore, three carpels are present and these three carpels are fused. Therefore, gynecium becomes what, sir? Syncarpus. Syncarpus gynecium. What is the meaning of syncarpus gynecium? Carpels are fused. What is the meaning of syncarpus gynecium? Syncarpus gynecium means nothing but carpels are fused. Carpels are fused. So, fused carpels, what we call it as? Syncarpus gynecium. Okay. Sir, in the total cyathium inflorescence, how many, how many, right, female flowers are present? One female flower is present. The female flower is with androecium or gynecium? Female flower with gynecium. The gynecium is with how many carpels? Three carpels, tricarpellum. The three carpels are fused, so gynecium becomes a syncarpus gynecium, syncarpus gynecium. What is another name for female flowers, sir? Pistillate flower, pistillate flower. Now listen the statement carefully. Sir, these carpels are also called as megasporophylls. Carpels are also called as what? Megasporophylls. Listen this statement. Carpels are functionally equal to megasporophylls. Carpels are functionally equal to megasporophylls. What are functionally equal to megasporophylls? Carpels. Therefore, carpels are functionally equal to megasporophylls. Megasporophylls. It means what function a carpel performs. The same function is performed by the megasporophylls. Therefore, carpels and megasporophylls are functionally similar. Functionally similar. So, three carpels, three megasporophylls, three carpels, three megasporophylls. Okay, right. Now, listen this statement. Sir, this is which flower, sir? Female flower. This female flower is surrounded by many male flowers. See the diagram. This is which flower? Male flower. All these are male flowers. What these male flowers are doing? They are surrounding the female flower. Yes or no? Right. This is a female flower. All these are male flowers. These male flowers are surrounding the female flower. Male flowers are surrounding the female flower. Sir, these are which flowers? Male flowers. Male flowers means with androecium or with gynecium. Androecium. Androecium. Sir, what is the unit of androecium? Stamens. 
or stamens as are now, right? Therefore, go for which flowers? Male flowers, right? Male flowers. Male flowers uh, right surrounds. Male flowers uh, surrounds which flower? Female flower. Male flowers surrounds which flower? Female flower. Sir, who is surrounding whom? Male flowers are surrounding female flower. Right. What is another name for male flower, sir? Male flower is also called as a staminate flower. What is another name for male flower? Staminate flower. Therefore, male flowers, staminate flowers, surrounds a female flower. What is another name for female flower? Stellate flower. Now, see this diagram. Sir, here in Syathium inflorescence, one female flower is present, but how many male flowers are present? Many male flowers are present. Many male flowers are present. All these are male flowers, right? All these are which flowers? Male flowers. Okay, right? Therefore, one Syathium inflorescence. What's that? One Syathium inflorescence. One Syathium inflorescence contains how many? Right? Male flowers, sir? Many male flowers. How many male flowers are present? Many male flowers are present. Many male flowers are present. Is this statement okay? Right? Now listen here. One Syathium inflorescence contains how many male flowers? Right? Many male flowers. Okay. Right. Now listen here. Sir, which flower it is? Male flower. Sir, I am taking a male flower here. Each male flower. Each male flower. Sir, male flower means it contains androsium or gyrosium. Androsium. Right? What it contains? Sir? Androsium. Contains androsium. Sir, that androsium contains how many stamens, sir? One stamen. Contains how many stamens, sir? One stamen. Sir, this stamen is functionally similar to microsporophyll. Similar to what, sir? Microsporophyll. Should be very careful. Right. Megasporophyll is functionally similar to carpel. Microsporophyll is functionally similar to stamen. Okay, clear. Generally, the word stamen and carpel are used in angiospermic plants. Microsporophyll and megasporophyll, these words are used in gymnospermic plants. Microsporophyll, megasporophyll in the case of gymnosperms, stamens and carpels in the case of angiosperms. Okay, microsporophyll functionally similar to stamen. Megasporophyll functionally similar to carpel. Is it clear? Right. Therefore, sir, one male flower, right, having androsium, no, that androsium is with how many stamens, sir? One stamen, that is with one microsporophyll, that is with one microsporophyll. Is it okay? Now, listen to this statement. Sir, in Syathium inflorescence, in which inflorescence? Syathium inflorescence. In Syathium inflorescence, in Syathium inflorescence. Sir, in Syathium inflorescence, right, uh, number one, what is the ratio between, uh, ratio between, uh, right, uh, male flowers to female flowers, ratio between male flowers to, what's a female flower? Tell me, sir, how many male flowers are there? Many male flowers are there. Yes or no? Right. Uh, Sir, how many female flowers are there? Only one female flower is present. Only one female flower is present. Yes or no? Right. Now, what is the ratio between a, what is the ratio between a number of stamens? Number of what, sir? Stamens. Number of stamens uh, in each male flower. I am speaking about each male flower. Right. Uh, to Number of carpels, number of what sir? Carpels, number of carpels in each female 
flower number of carpels in each female flower now you tell me sir each male flower each male flower with how many stamens sir one stamen sir how many carpels are present in each female flower three therefore one stamen in each male flower three carpels in each female flower so ratio becomes how much sir one is to three what is the ratio sir one is to three one is to three is this statement okay right now listen this statement sir in cyathium inflorescence in cyathium inflorescence if n number of flowers if n number of what if n number of flowers if n number of flowers are present if n number of flowers are present then number of female flowers number of female flowers are how many female flowers will be tell me sir for example see this diagram in this diagram 1 2 3 4 male flowers one female flower total how many flowers are there five flowers are there sir in this five flowers how many female flowers are there one female flower one female flower then automatically how many male flowers will be sir four male flowers yes or no right therefore if n number of if n number of flowers are present right in cyathium inflorescence then number of right the number of which flowers sir female flowers are then number of female flowers are how many sir how many female flowers will be one for the same question if n number of flowers are present if n number if n number of flowers are present if n number of flowers are present if n number of flowers are present right in cyathium inflorescence then number of male flowers how many male flowers will be how many male flowers will be sir how many flowers are present n number of flowers in this n number of flowers how many female flowers are there one female flower therefore n minus 1 gives the number of which flowers is that male flowers gives the number of male flowers is it okay now listen this statement sir if n number of if n number of what sir sporophylls if n number of sporophylls are present if n number of sporophylls are present in cyathium inflorescence right then then number of microsporophylls number of what sir microsporophylls the number of microsporophylls microsporophylls means nothing but what sir stamens yes or no microsporophylls nothing but what sir stamens becomes how many sir it becomes a uh, right n minus 3 What it becomes is a n minus three. Why, sir? Sporophylls. What is the meaning of sporophylls? Sporophylls means a uh, right. Uh, sporophylls means nothing but microsporophylls and megasporophylls. Microsporophylls and a uh, what, sir? Megasporophylls. Microsporophylls means stamens. Megasporophylls means what, sir? Carpels. Sir, in the total cyathium inflorescence. In the total cyathium inflorescence. How many megasporophylls are present? Three megasporophylls are present. Three megasporophylls are present. Three megasporophylls are present. Is it okay? Right. Therefore, we are asking the number of microsporophylls. How many microsporophylls will be? How many megas? How many sporophylls are there? From that number of sporophylls, if you remove three sporophylls, then you will get the number of microsporophylls. Why we have to remove the three sporophylls, sir? Because these three are megasporophylls. Therefore, if n number of sporophylls are present in cyathium inflorescence, right? Then number of then number of what, sir? Microsporophylls. There is a number of stamens, sir. Right? Is equals to what, sir? N minus three. What, sir? N minus three. Right? Sir, which flowers are surrounding which flowers? Male flowers are surrounding the female flowers. Yes, sir. Right? Sir, these male flowers are arranged around the female flower in monoecial scorpioid sign manner. Which flowers? Male flowers. Male flowers, right? Are arranged. Male flowers are arranged where around the female flowers. Around the female flower. 
around the female flower. Only one is there, no? Around the female flower. In which manner, sir? In monocacial. In monocacial. Scorpioid side manner. In which manner, sir? Monocacial scorpioid side manner. What are arranged? Male flowers. Where around the which flowers sir? Female flowers. Therefore, around the female flowers, male flowers are arranged in monocacial scorpioid side manner. Right. Sir, here opening of flowers is in centrifugal manner. What sir? Opening of flowers. Opening of flowers sir. Right. Is in which manner sir? Centrifugal manner. Opening of flowers is in centrifugal manner. Is it okay? Right. Sir, in case of cyathium inflorescence, in which inflorescence? Cyathium inflorescence. How flowers are? Sir, how the flowers are here? Here male flowers are present, female flowers are present. It means unisexual flowers, bisexual flowers, unisexual flowers. Therefore, two types of unisexual flowers. Two types of what, sir? Unisexual flowers. There is a male flowers and a female flowers. Right. Therefore, two types of uh, unisexual flowers are present. Two types of unisexual flowers are present. It means here flowers are complete flowers or incomplete flowers, sir. Flowers are incomplete flowers. Flowers are incomplete flowers. Okay. Right. And here, right, uh, these flowers are provided with pedicel. It means they are which flowers, sir? They are pedicellate flowers. It means they are stocked or non stocked. They are stocked. They are provided with stock. That is a pedicel. Therefore, right? They are pedicellate flowers. They are which flowers, sir? Pedicellate flowers. They are pedicellate flowers. Is this statement okay? Right? Now, see here. Sir, take a female flower. Take which flower, sir? Female flower. First, you tell me. Flower means what it should contain. Flower means it should contain number one, calyx. Number two, corolla. Number three, androsium writer. Number four, what sir? Gynesium. Yes or no? Flower means it should contain calyx, corolla, androsium, gynesium. Sir, this is female flower. It means gynesium is present, androsium is absent. Yes or no? Right? Sir, this is female flower, should contain gynesium, right? It won't contain uh, androsia, right? Because it's female flower. Sir, in cyathium inflorescence, in which inflorescence? Cyathium inflorescence, this female flower does not contain calyx and corolla also. What and what are absent? Calyx and corolla are absent. It means perianth lobes are absent. As calyx and corolla, that is perianth lobes are absent, these female flowers are, female flowers are aclamidious flowers, because chlamydia means perianth lobes. Here chlamydia, perianth lobes are absent. So, female flowers of cyathium inflorescence are aclamidious flowers. Aclamidious flowers are also called as naked flowers. What is another name for aclamidious flowers? Also called as naked flowers. Is it okay? Therefore, female flowers of what, sir? Female flowers of cyathium inflorescence. Female flowers of cyathium inflorescence. Female flowers of cyathium inflorescence are aclamidious. What they are? Aclamidious flowers or naked flowers. Sir, why they are called as aclamidious flowers or naked flowers, sir? As, a, as what are absent? Calyx and corolla. It means perianth lobes are absent as calyx and corolla. That is, perianth lobes are present or absent? Absent. Is it okay? Right. Therefore, as a calyx and corolla, there is perianth lobes are absent. The female flowers of cyathium inflorescence are aclamidious flowers are naked flowers. Is it okay? Right. Male flowers of cyathium inflorescence. Which flowers? Male flowers of cyathium inflorescence. Right. Male flowers of cyathium inflorescence. 
sir flower means uh, it should be with what sir it should be with uh, number 1 calyx number 2 corolla number 3 androecium number 4 gynecium as are no calyx corolla androecium gynecium sir male flower means it should contain androecium but it won't be with gynecium as are no. because male flower no it won't be with gynecium it should contain androecium sir male flowers of cyathium inflorescence male flowers of cyathium inflorescence here calyx and corolla are also absent what and what are absent sir calyx and corolla are absent it means here male flowers are also a chlamydias flowers male flowers are also a chlamydias flowers it means naked flowers as are yes, right therefore male flowers of cyathium inflorescence which flowers sir male flowers of a cyathium inflorescence male flowers of cyathium what inflorescence male flowers of cyathium inflorescence are a chlamydias a chlamydias a chlamydias or naked they are naked flowers why sir as a water absent as calyx and corolla as a calyx and corolla that is what perianth lobes that is what sir perianth lobes are absent what are absent perianth lobes are absent therefore see these two statements carefully in cyathium inflorescence male flowers and female flowers both are eclabidious both are naked flowers both are eclabidious both are naked flowers in the case of cyathium inflorescence now listen this statement cymos characters cymos characters present in cymos characters are present in cyathium inflorescence in cyathium inflorescence what are the cymos characters we are going to see right number 1 first one opening of flowers in centrifugal manner opening of flowers opening of flowers in which manner sir opening of flowers in centrifugal manner opening of flowers in which manner sir centrifugal manner number 2 arrangement of flowers what sir arrangement of flowers which flowers male flowers arrangement of male flowers in which manner arrangement of male flowers in monocacial monocacial scorpioid cyme manner arrangement of male flowers in which manner sir monocacial scorpioid cyme manner these two are uh, cymos characters present in cyathium inflorescence what they are flowers are opening in centrifugal manner it's a cymos character male flowers are arranged in monocacial scorpioid cyme manner right this is also which character sir this is also cymos character therefore these two are cymos characters present in cyathium inflorescence right now go for the example of cyathium inflorescence for the example of a cyathium inflorescence right you for bac family which family sir you for bac family you for bac family sir for you for bac family we can take you for bia as an example we can take you for bia as an example with this we completed a cyathium inflorescence right we are discussing special types of inflorescence right this special type of inflorescence is of three types right verticillaster cyathium hypanthorium we completed the first two that is verticillaster and cyathium right now go for the third one or it is hypanthorium hypanthorium what it means a hypanthorium hypanthorium right so this hypanthorium is a fruit like special type of inflorescence hypanthorium is a fruit like special type of inflorescence fruit like a special type of a inflorescence
fluorescence, right? Fruit like special type of fluorescence. Okay. Now listen this tip. Sir, what I draw here, this is nothing but peduncle. I am speaking about hypanthodium inflorescence, right? Sir, in hypanthodium inflorescence, this peduncle stores food materials, becomes fleshy, and formed a deep cup like structure. See the diagram. Who formed the deep cup like structure? Who formed this deep cup like structure, sir? Who formed it? Peduncle. Therefore, peduncle stores food materials. So, peduncle becomes fleshy and forms a deep cup like structure with apical opening. See the diagram. See the diagram. This apical opening is called as osteole. What is this apical opening called as a osteole? What is this apical opening called as a osteole? Okay, right? Therefore, in hypanthodium inflorescence, what the peduncle is doing, sir? This peduncle stores food. Stores food. Sir, as peduncle stores food materials, the peduncle becomes a fleshy. And this peduncle forms what, sir? Forms deep cup like structure. In Syathium inflorescence, who formed cup like structure? In Vandukara bracts. In Syathium inflorescence, in the endocara bracts formed a cup like structure. Whereas in hypanthodium, the peduncle has formed the cup like structure. This cup like structure is with what, sir? With apical opening. This cup like structure is with apical opening. What is that apical opening called as a osteole? What is this apical opening called as a osteole? Is it okay? Now listen the statements carefully. Listen the statements carefully. Sir, this is the right, this is the inner margin of the deep cup, yes or no? On this inner margin of the deep cup, on the inner margin of the deep cup, on the inner margin of this deep cup, three types of flowers are present. Which margin? Inner margin of what? Deep cup like structure. How many types of flowers are present? Three types of flowers are present. What are the three types of flowers, sir? Upper flowers are male flowers. Upper flowers are which flowers, sir? Male flowers. Therefore, upper male flowers. Whereas uh, basal flowers are female flowers. Basal flowers are what, sir? Female flowers. Which female flowers, sir? These are these are fertile female flowers. Fertile female flowers. Whereas in between these male flowers and fertile female flowers, gall flowers are present. What are present? Gall flowers are present. Okay. Therefore, upper which flowers? Male flowers. These are male flowers. Okay. Male flowers. Right. Whereas uh, these are what, sir? These are fertile female flowers. These are what, sir? Fertile female, fertile female flowers. These are fertile female flowers. Whereas what are these, sir? Gall flowers. Sir, what are gall flowers? Sterile female flowers are called as gall flowers. Sterile female flowers are called as gall flowers. Okay. Therefore, on inner margin. On which margin? Inner margin of the cup. On inner margin. On inner margin of a deep cup. Right. What are present, sir? Three types of a, three types of a flowers are present. Three types of flowers are present. Okay. Sir, how many types of flowers? Three types of flowers. What are the three types of flowers, sir? Right. Number one. Huh. Tell me. Basal. Okay. Basal which flowers, sir? Fertile. Basal fertile female flowers. Basal fertile female flowers. Sir, how many fertile female flowers are there, sir? Many. Okay, right? Next, uh, number two, middle. Sir, in the middle, what are present, sir? In the middle, gall flowers are present. Yes or no? Which flowers, sir? Gall flowers. Gall flowers. How many gall flowers are there? Gall flowers are also made. Okay, right. 
sir this gun flowers are what sir actually they are sterile female flowers they are which flowers sir they are sterile female flowers okay right next copper number 3 third type what they are upper sir upper which flowers are present sir upper which flowers are present upper male flowers are present sir how many male flowers are there sir many male flowers are present how many male flowers are present sir many male flowers are present now you tell me in saya in hypanthodium in florescence in hypanthodium in florescence okay how many types of female flowers are present two types of female flowers are present how many types of female flowers are present two types of female flowers are present what are they fertile female flowers and sterile female flowers in which in florescence hypanthodium in florescence therefore hypanthodium in florescence contains hypanthodium in florescence contains a, what's a two types a, two types of a female flowers hypanthodium in florescence contains two types of female flowers sir what are these two types of female flowers sir number 1 what is the first one fertile fertile female flowers fertile female flowers and second one is a sterile female flowers sterile female flowers therefore fertile female flowers sterile female flowers two types of female flowers are present in the case of hypanthodium in florescence right in hypanthodium in florescence in hypanthodium in florescence in hypanthodium in fluorescence which in fluorescence hypanthodium in fluorescence right each male flower each male flower sir male flower means what it contains sir androecium yes sir right therefore androecium of androecium of what each male flower androecium of each male flower contains three stamens is this statement okay androecium of each male flower contains how many stamens how many stamens contains three stamens whereas each each female flower each female flower sir female flowers are of two types no in hypanthodium in fluorescence you can take either fertile female flower or a sterile female flower you can take any one of this each female flower female flower means what it contains gynecium therefore this is the statement gynecium of each female flower gynecium of each female flower contains one carpel as one carpel is present we are calling this gynecium as monocarpellary gynecium is this statement okay therefore in hypanthodium in fluorescence androecium of each male flower three stamens are present gynecium of each female flower whether it is fertile or sterile contains how many carpels one carpel as one carpel is present we are calling this gynecium as monocarpellary gynecium monocarpellary gynecium right thank you